page 180, section D, question 10. Now, this will come for 3 marks or 2 marks in exam. You have a question of 2 and 3 marks also from this chapter. So for that much we did it will come. Fit a linear equation, underline that. Only equation to be found. Fit a linear equation from the following data for variable y of time series. So it's a short question, write down n is equal to 4, sigma y is equal to 270, and sigma ty is equal to 734. Okay, now raise your hand. What is missing to apply the formulas? Raise your hand. What is missing to apply the formulas? Now brother, sigma t, is that the only thing missing? Also t squared. Sigma t and sigma t squared are missing. Without that we cannot apply the formula. So raise your hand, how will we find that? Sigma t and sigma t squared, how will that be obtained? Anyone else? Point? Sir, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, t bar equals to sigma t upon n, then 10 upon 4, that is 2.5. Further? y bar is equals to 2, sigma y upon n. y bar equals to sigma y upon n. is equals to 270 upon 4. 270 upon 4. Which is equals to 67.5. 67.5. So now, is everyone clear with this? Then, and then equation of trend line is given by equation of trend line is given by y cap is equal to a plus b t. Y cap is equal to a plus b t. Where b is equal to where b is equal to n sigma t y n sigma t y minus sigma t into sigma y minus sigma t into sigma y upon n sigma t square minus sigma t whole square upon n sigma t square minus sigma t whole square so is everyone clear with it? we have put the values n is given in the beginning as 4 n sigma t y is also given in the beginning as 734 Minus sigma t we obtained as 10 into, into sigma y 270 it's given in the beginning upon, four. upon again n is 4 into, 30. into sigma t square is 30 minus, minus sigma t we obtained as 10 whole square. So now is everyone clear with this? That is equal to so in Seven thirty four into four two nine three six minus two seven double zero minus ten into two seventy two seven double zero upon one twenty four into thirty one twenty minus hundred ten square that is hundred so two thirty six upon twenty eleven point eight so is everyone clear with this any confusions up till here and today. 
equals to y bar minus b t bar y bar 67.5 minus b 11.8 into t bar 2.5 29.5 minus 11.8 into 2.5 is 29.5 38 38 so now is everyone clear of this then but therefore equation of trend line therefore equation of trend line is Y cap. Y cap is equal to A plus B T. Y cap is equal to A plus B T. A is equal to 38. So Y cap equals to A that is 38. Plus 11.8. Plus B that is 11.8 into T. Only this much is asked in this question. Is everyone clear with it? Anyone having any doubt in this? Look at page 181, section E. I'll discuss two questions and you'll do it on your own. Okay, this much is done, so all of you are clear with the concepts. I'll discuss the questions and you'll be trying it on your own. Look at page 181, section E, question number 1. The data about exports in crore rupees of ready-made garments of a textile manufacturer are given below. So E as in the export you will denote as Y. And then fit a linear trend so equation to these data and then estimate the trend for the export and then in the year 2017. Now see above everyone be attentive. 2010 you'll take us 1, then 11, 2, then 12, 3, then 13, 4, then 14, 5, then 15, 6, then 16 would be 7, and 17 would be 8. So I'll write 2017 and write t equals to 8. Raise your hand who did not understand this. All are clear with it? So only two things are asked again equation and 2017's estimate. Next, question 2. The following data are available for the number of passengers who travelled in the last five years by aircrafts of an airline company. Put a pencil down. And then estimate the trend for the year 2016 by fitting trend line. I told you, in any situation, you first have to find equation. Then only estimate can be obtained. Now, years, number of passengers, why? Now, year 2011, you will denote as? 1, 12, 2, 13, 3, 14, 4, 15, 5. So 2016 means in T you have to substitute 6. Understood this everyone? So solve both the questions on your own right now.